Today we got a Max 700 GU, I believe. We're about to lift it up from the uh, front axle over here. So we got it hooked up. We just got to figure out how to send air to it. The trailer should be off already. Yep, we're good. Trailer's not connected. That's great. This worked for me. Now let's check out the, uh, the air tanks. Okay, we got a little baby air tank over there. Uh, Another big tank on the other side. Maybe I can hook up to that. Or uh, let me check under the hood first. Let's see what we can find under there. Because sometimes uh very easy to hook up to the hood. Let's see. This line here should uh, send air to all the air tanks. That yeah, should be it. So I'm gonna hook up to this line here and let's see what happens. I think it might be good. I hear air going in. So. All right, so let's go inside and let's, let's uh, check out the uh, the air, see if, it go, if it's going up or not. Air pressure gauge is right there. Okay, we got 50 PSI right now. Let's just wait a little bit and see if it goes up. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finish working over here. I'm gonna close the hood and uh, let the air build up for now. All right, keep this here, keep this hose out the way. So let's check out the uh, 
the air. Let's see if it goes all the way up. Okay, it's not all the way up yet, but uh, oh no, hold up, let me check this out here. Yeah, we should be good. It's slowly going up. It's up to uh, 50, 60, it's almost, almost 90 psi right now, so it is going up for sure. Yeah, I'm able to release the brakes already too, so we're good. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready here to pull the dry shaft out. I'm gonna be using a breaker bar to break this bolt loose first. Uh, we got a half inch uh, 12, half inch uh, 12 point socket. So we're gonna be using. Uh, got a little metal brush here. I like to go over the bolts with the brush so I can clean all the dirt from the, the uh, edges over here. Because I'm going to spray this in there, so when I move, clean the dirt out, I can uh, I can have the oil, penetrating oil, go in there and get them loose. It helps out, especially with this trucks. Uh, they're all dusty and uh, there's mud everywhere in here. So you want to break him loose first and then you want to use the gun because if you use the gun first there's a high chance it might strip the bolts you don't want to do that because then you're going to be pulling axes maybe one or two sometimes even four see just like that before i do anything else i'm going to set up my one inch strap to hold the dry shaft this way when i pull all the bolts out the dry shaft is not going to follow me the dress is very heavy, so you don't want that falling on your knees or your head. is off let's see you can tape these caps on put duct tape around them so they don't fall off but if you can take them out it's a lot better to take them out let's go take them out like slow so because they got the, they got some little pins inside here you don't want to lose any of them so let me show you what I did here this is the dry shelf it was hooked up into this I popped it out after I, I took it out, I moved it over to the side because this part here is going to be spinning. So you want the dry shelf as far as possible from this part here because uh, if you don't, this part is going to hit the dry shelf and you're going to break something. So to avoid that, you got to bring it over to the side, strap it to the side, and uh, also strap it on the way that uh, it won't move this way and that it won't slide out from here because sometimes uh like this one here especially this one can slide out so if you leave it loose it will slide out that way as you're driving and it'll fall out you'll never find it um so i got the straps in the way that i was holding it to the left that way tight and it's also this one right here is holding it back i got this one towards the back that is going that way so it won't slide out that, you know, it won't slide out on me. So we're good. Next, I got to do my, uh, my tow light and uh, safety chains and that should be it.
and we are rolling this one feels very light well it is empty that helps also that front axle is very close to the bumper that also helps because uh, I don't have to extend my wheel lift out as much so very helpful that's why I said this truck is very easy to do anyways uh, let's get it ready to back into the shop over here just gotta watch out for this traffic it's not that bad right now because it's very early in the morning so we should be good over here right now Hopefully you guys, I was able to teach you something on this video. If you didn't learn anything, then uh, hopefully on the next one. But I'm about to drop off this truck, collect my money, and uh, be out of here. Thank you for watching.